Yeah, it was uh, really the start of the game was a, a big focus for us, and um, I think Greeny set the, the tempo with that, and um, I think we just followed in, in his footsteps. You talk about what Matt brings. I mean, it's for a guy that often plays on the third pairing. He's yeah. so important to you. Like. Yeah, he uh, stepped up when he when he comes back. I think. The things that you guys don't see, the leadership in the dressing room, um, that powerful voice, I think. And um, all year we missed him uh, on the ice too, just how physical he plays and, and how hard he is to play against. And um, even before we got our gear too, I think that's kind of what we were lacking on the back end. And, and we have um, some skilled guys and um, the guys that move the puck well, but I, I don't think you can replace somebody who plays that physical and, and how hard both of those guys are to play against. And, and Matt coming back is a big boost for us. And uh, I think you can just see how, how different of a team we are um, with him in the lineup, just setting the tone physically. Hey Mike, on, on the PK, how important is it to get into the first unit all the guys in that first yeah. 45 seconds in the first unit? Yeah, I mean, you know they're going to get chances. They have uh, a power play that's been together for a long time, so they're obviously comfortable with each other and um, just taking away their time and space, I think, is the biggest thing. But you know that they're going to get opportunities, and, and you just want to limit them and um, not give them those uh, nice grade-A scoring chances from in the middle. And if you can push things to the outside, it's, uh, it's obviously better, but it's still dangerous. Mike, you mentioned uh, that John's kind of been John for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Has John emphasized anything differently this, this year, this playoffs? Um, not much. He uh, he puts together a game plan, and we try to execute it. And uh, obviously, a lot of film goes into that. And um, it's just a matter of putting pressure and smart pressure. Like I said, you don't want to give them too much time and space, but you also don't want to run out of position where you give them. Uh, chances from inside so you know that they're going to get their chances and when they do and when we do have breakdowns quickie seems to make the big save but I think the power play on this team is uh, is big for them they get a lot of momentum off of it and obviously a lot of shots and chances too so um, first and foremost is staying out of the penalty box and when we do take penalties it's uh, it's a collective effort and you know, to go back to green he, he's a big part of that too. With how tough it's been on the road this postseason, does it make you think back to last year and, and how well you guys played on the road and how difficult um, that is? Well, it's difficult, especially in a building like San Jose. And you know, last year is in the past now. It's, uh, it's a, a new season, but I think just everyone has to realize how difficult it is to win on the road. And um, you know, at home, you can get through sometimes with getting your legs from the crowd and the energy. and. Um, a big part of, uh, of winning on the road and playing on the road is, is mental and, and getting yourself ready and, and being prepared for their big push. Mike, you've touched on already, but the, the starts that everyone wants to get out yeah. of Everyone wants to do it, but if you can talk specifically without giving away strategy about the Kings and their identity, elements that the Kings can bring to get off to good starts. Yeah. Well, it starts with uh, I think face-offs and puck possession, and they've got a good team with face-offs, and um, it's a collect uh, a group effort, and everybody's got to help out. And when you do have the puck, it's getting it in deep. And last night, I thought we were better on face-offs, which gave us more time with the puck, and and obviously an easier job forechecking, getting our game established. And um, the start of the games uh, obviously hasn't been the best part of our our game this series and I thought last game we did start winning those face-offs and getting pucks um, in deep and you know, it's it's said a lot in playoffs but for our team I think it's it's probably one of the biggest things that we need to do have success.